This section right here, we're going to be talking about installing PHP and a little bit about what PHP is. You okay over there, Adam? I'm doing what so great. What is PHP? Okay, I'll, we'll start that out by uh, turning it over to Logan. Logan, why don't you take a second and tell everybody what PHP is. PHP is a server-side scripting language. What that means is, uh, okay, before you saw how uh, you could set up Apache to respond to a web page request, so your browser told Apache that it wanted a page, Apache just found the page and gave it back to your browser. That was it. Now, um, if you have a PHP script, you set, you first you configure Apache, tell it what, um, what extension a PHP script will have. So then when a browser requests a, requests a PHP script, Apache sends that script to the, to the PHP parser so that and the parser is what actually goes through the entire file, finding anything that's inside of PHP tags, and then running it. It's, a, it's an interpreter. It'll, it can read any PHP code inside those tags, and it'll generate any output from those tags if there was going to be output, or just run what code. It doesn't necessarily have to generate output. But once it's done, it finishes interpreting all the PHP. It has a straight HTML file that it sends back to Apache, and Apache sends that to your browser. So, so hold on, oh no, no, wait, hold on, hold on. can you be my interpreter? Can you well, put that in critter terms? I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say, Adam, tell us what he just said. Yeah, I, I just had to check out to make sure I wasn't bleeding out of the ears. So it's a, <laughs> it's uh, a what I'm thinking, what he just said is that, uh, yeah, yeah, is it well, a it, yeah? I, I can rem understand the interpreting part where it looks at it and <laughs> anything that's in the code, <laughs> it like cross references. So it, it talks to maybe? the server. Well. You can almost think it of it. It's it's a PHP. First of all, is a server side scripting language. Right. Okay. What does that mean? It means that as a developer developing a web page, you're going to write in PHP code or scripting code into your web page, right. and you're going to use special PHP tags to designate that this section is PHP code. So far, so good. You know, we'll oh, get yeah, it, yeah. We'll get into the tags a little bit later on. Oh, no, that, that okay. actually makes sense. Then we're going to name our web page with a special sort of <laughs> extension like PHP. Okay, So you could call it index.php if you wanted to. Now, as Logan just said a second ago, which, Logan, I, I thought your description was excellent. I it was, was a very good yeah. description. I was right there with <laughs> it, but you. the other two were dying. <laughs> but what happens is then when you request this file from your browser – Okay, or excuse me, with your browser from the server, the web server, the web server, or Apache in this case, sees that the file has a .php extension and says, whoa, we got to hand this off to the PHP engine, okay, and or the parser, as Logan was talking about a second ago. Then it hands it off to the PHP engine, which then begins to interpret what the code inside, in other words, the PHP code, what it's saying to do, okay. get the date, um, connect with the database, whatever. Right. But all of this is happening at the server. Okay. So here you are, you're sitting at home, and you just asked for a PHP page, and you're sitting there, do 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 do, -do and you're waiting. And on the other end, the web server saw it, saw there's PHP in it, or they had a PHP extension, handed it off to the PHP engine. And PHP engine's like, okay, we're going through, we're doing this, we're doing that, we're doing this does everything that you tell it to inside the scripting code, and as Logan says, delivers a web page back, okay? This is what gets sent back to the browser, so you see the results. Oh. So it's not something, PHP, a lot of people get this confused, a lot of people that are new to this, PHP is not something that's client-side. Anytime you hear somebody say something that's client-side, that means your side. In other words, when you're sitting there looking at a web page that has a button on it, and you click that button and it does something, that is client side unless it calls the web server again asking for something else. Then it becomes server side. So in other words, all right, hang on. I don't, I don't want to get you confused here. No, no, that's But fine. there are, like if you click a button and it makes a little dialog box pop up that says, hi, Adam, how you doing? That's a client side operation. The server didn't do anything to interact to right. make this script do that. It's okay? almost like. Okay, it's like yeah. some sort of JavaScript or something that you have right. client side. But there are a lot of things that you can do server side. And later on in this CD, we're going to get into you know, connecting with a database, and we're going to make requests through, through our HTML code, and we'll use PHP tags. We'll make requests that we connect to a particular mm -hmm. database, 
we open up a particular table and we grab some records out and return them back to us in some sort of a web page format. Okay. So PHP, in its simplest form, is just an interpreter that's sitting on the server that is handed code from the from the web browser or excuse me from the web server and it does its little thing it runs that code or executes it interprets it line by line and gives a result back so that it is then sent back to the browser is this yes that's that's it that, is that well e that's easy to understand does that make sense a little bit better oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah you sure okay no that makes perfect sense okay just making sure wow. so um so first of all uh, the installation, as uh, again, we're doing this on a Windows 2000 system. So, how do we go about getting PHP files, and how do we go about setting it up so that they actually interact with Apache? In this section right here, we're going to look at the actual installation of PHP, and in the next section, we're going to take a look at how we configure Apache to work with PHP. So, let's go ahead and come in here, and I'm going to open up a browser. And we'll just jump on over here to www.php.net. Okay, so here we are on php.net. Now, right now this page is cached, my local hard drive, so it popped up really fast. Tonight, their website's been running just a little bit slow. Okay, <laughs> They've got a new release that was just recently put out just a couple days ago, uh, PHP 4.2.1. And there's probably about 10 million people currently trying to get it. Ah. So we're just going to say that's the reason why we are crawling. But when you come into the PHP page, okay, this is our home page, you'll find a lot of really good information about PHP. I mean, there's documentation. They have contests on uh, coding contests. I mean, there's just a lot of really good stuff. Uh, what is it? You know, just in case you're totally lost, you ended up here by accident, who knows. But um, a lot of really good stuff. To start out with, though, we need to actually get the file to do the installation. And you can just come over here, and you'll find Downloads. And you can click Downloads. And if this doesn't click over real quick, I've already got a page up with the Downloads section on it, which it looks like it's going to make us wait. So I'll just go ahead and stop it and minimize this browser. And let's pretend that we just got to the Downloads page. <laughs> so we're now at the Downloads page. Latest version of PHP. Complete source code. Logan, tell us about this. If you want to go in there and rewrite part of PHP yourself, you'll need the source code. So it is open source, right? Yes, PHP is completely open source. Which is absolutely awesome, right? Oh, yes. I mean, that means you can go in there and add your own functionality if you need so to. So you can manipulate exactly. it any way you want to? Yeah, you internally. Can, you could go in there and rewrite PHP completely if you wanted to. Absolutely. Awesome. So it's like they give you... Never mind, that's a bad example. I was going to give an example, but then everybody would have went, huh? And <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be worth that extra few minutes. So right now, again, just like we saw with Apache, we have two different things that we can choose from download. We've got the source, and we have binaries. Okay. Again, beginner CD, and what we're looking for are the actual binaries, as Adam said earlier, the ones and zeros that are compiled in machine language to talk directly with the machine. That is exactly what I said. <laughs> word for word. Exactly. <laughs> So this is just for anybody who skipped the Apache section. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know you're so slick with this stuff, man. So um, so anyways, there's the complete source with our links that we can download. And we come on down lower, and we've got Windows binaries. And again, this is Windows 2000 that we're working on. It can also be used on Windows 95, 98, and Millennium, and uh, NP and XP as well. Let's come on down here. We've got two different ones that we can choose from. We've got PHP 4.2.1, the zip package. And we have PHP 4.2.1 installer. Logan, tell us the difference. The zip package uh, just contains the actual files, the actual um, PHP engine, basically. Um, the installer contain has the same stuff, but it's used for if you it can automatically set PHP up. PHP has the web server has to be configured to use PHP, and you would use the installer to configure it. Right now, they don't. I don't think they have the uh, the installer working with Apache. So we're just going to use the uh, the zip package and configure PHP with Apache ourselves. Absolutely. The installer would be like if you had like IIS. Yeah. It it is capable of con auto configuring for IIS. So you might want to use the installer if it, it would be just a little faster. So for those of you sitting out there that are going uh, IIS, uh, 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 the uh, the Microsoft's uh, web server that ships with NT, XP, etc. Um, the IIS is what it's called. And what Logan was talking about is, you know, when you get PHP on your system, 
you've got to configure it to work with the web server. Right. I mean, it's just not an automatic thing. The web server's got to know, hey, I just got a PHP document. Where is this dude I need to hand it off to? So they've got to be configured. Well, with Apache, we're going to go in there in this next section, and we're going to configure it manually. But with the installer, they've got it set up so that working with the IIS web server, Microsoft's web server, that it'll go in there and actually make the configurations for you. It's an automatic thing, okay? Uh -huh. You know, so you use the installer, boom, it installs the files, goes in, makes the proper configurations, and the two are ready to talk, okay? What we're going to do, though, is we're going to come in here, and we're going to download the actual zip package, which, like Logan says, contains all of the different uh, files required for PHP, and all we have to really do is just unzip them to a specific area, and we're ready to go. Well, after we configure it, of course, but uh, there's no install or setup.exe that we'll actually be executing. So you just come in here, click this, and do a save as, and pick where you'd like to save it to. Now, of course, we've already got the file. Boom, let's just bring it on over here onto our little desktop. We've already got the file downloaded, so there it is, PHP 4.2. Uh, .1, win32.zip, so there we are again with another win32 file. So we'll go ahead and open up the zip file. And now you'll notice if we go ahead and take a look all the way over here to the right that we do have a path. Okay, so we got all the proper paths. Ooh. And so we'll go ahead and just extract this out again to our K drive. So I'll simply come over here to extract. And we'll come on down and select the root of K, which is going to be this drive right here. And we want to extract all the files, and we want to use the folder names that are have been saved inside this ph or excuse me inside this zip file. So I'll go ahead and hit extract, and so there it goes extracting all the good stuff out. Hmm. Do, 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 do. What does PHP stand for? Where do babies come from? <laughs> you tell me. Um, pink, honey. No, I don't know. Personalized homing precision. Well, per, I don't care you're anymore. In nope, <laughs> you're in charge of telling me that for the configuring section. Okay. You'll, you'll tell our viewers that, so you got to go do some homework. Okay. So we'll go ahead and close this down. If we come up underneath our K drive now, you'll see there's the PHP folder with all of the files up underneath it for PHP. Okay. The first thing I want to do since we're going to be using the name of this folder and configuring with Apache, is I'm just going to come in here and rename it. So I'll just rename it PHP, and that'll work for me. Does that work, work for you, Logan? Yep, that's good. That's what I do. And um, now if we go ahead and come in here, you're going to find inside the PHP folder, you're going to find an install.txt file. We come in here, and we can open it up. And no, you don't want to open it in that. Let's go ahead and open it in Notepad. There we go. And inside here, you're going to find a bunch of different information regarding the install and a couple of things that we're going to talk about in the next section on how we can configure this with Apache. So make sure you read through here, a lot of good information. But go ahead and go on to the next section, and you'll see what's going to be required to configure this thing to work with Apache. We do have to move one file. There's a... We do, but let's go ahead and save that one for the configure thing. Okay. So is configure next? So Yeah, configure is so next. So that's when I tell everyone... So that's pretty much it, okay? Yes, that would be it for for just simply just installing. I mean, it's just a yeah, matter of getting the zip file and unzipping sounds it. Sounds pretty darn easy. Yeah, it's just, easy. It literally is just that easy. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys.